Steve here with Table Rock Tea Company. Today is a, a squirrely little day for us. We have this CR45, so 45 centimeter tea rolling machine. Um, weighs about a thousand pounds and we are going to take it and put it from here. We're going to put it over here on this custom rolling locking uh, pallet because we need to be able to move it. Um, yeah, uh, so a little bit tricky because there's no real good way to see this thing, uh, like raise it up. Um, we are trying to figure out good ways to forklift, but if you look underneath this, you'll see there's all kinds of stuff where if you put forks under here, you're going to destroy it. So um, anyhow, what we're going to do is um, essentially take a bull rope that I use for going down trees, so pretty hefty. We are going to tie this around the three legs, you know, the motor, essentially make it so that we'll use the skid steer, wide pallet forks, hook into the rope, lift it up off of this one, move it over here, slide this one underneath, and then the fun begins for modification. So, uh, yeah, Let's see how it goes. Well, the worst part is over. Uh, I'd be lying if I didn't say it was squirrely. Um, we took the forklift, we straddled this uh, roller, and then we roped uh, the roller to the forks, lifted it up, and then slid this wheeled pallet underneath it. Uh, it took us a while to figure out where exactly we want to place it, because um, right now we have to bolt it in because it's going to have a lot of force and wobble and uh, we finally figured that out. So the next step is me drilling holes in this nice new pallet. Stay tuned. All right, so I spent uh, most of the evening yesterday, last night, uh, drilling holes into this thing. And we've got the frame all set up. I'll show you what that's uh, all about. Um, kind of everything we had to do, but it's uh, coming together, the CR45 roller. So it's not perfect. You know, again, this pallet came from another machine and I was able to save it, which is really awesome because it's got these huge casters on it, really heavy duty, and most importantly, these drop down feet. So essentially what you do is crank these down and then it'll pull them off the wheels and then you use this mechanism to lock that in place because this thing is gonna be, you know, wobbling with a lot of force and, um, so it'll be much more stable though because now we've got four legs instead of three uh, i had to drill um, essentially what we did was kind of modify things a little bit but uh, we tried to make it a least modification as possible so we centered this on the rail and over here uh, so we didn't have to drill as many holes <clears throat> into other things as possible um, this is the other bolt going through right there um, and again we we centered it uh, already you know lined up with the the tubing because what you don't want to do is you don't want to like if you've got your tubing you want to make sure you get it centered you don't want to have to drill it like over here or something stupid but over here on the front legs um, that's where it gets a little wonky um, with these Chinese rollers these are not parallel so like um, what I mean by that is um, the if you drew a line from this front leg to that front leg, it is not parallel with this I-beam supporting the motor. So to make this sit properly, it's actually kind of like this, which for my OCD really is irritating, but it is what it is and you just gotta do it. So um, I did have to drill uh, this leg here. Uh, you can see there are two holes that already come with it. These are made to pilot, um, put a, a screw down into the uh, cement. Uh, most of these are stationary, but our shop is so small, we gotta move things around. So uh, anyway, and then uh, I had to do another one over here. You can see there was the first hole that was normal that came with, and one over there, and I had to drill a new one there to make it uh, fit. What was really cool about this, again, is now we've got this essentially this thousand pound huge capacity roller uh, that we can move around the shop as we want to and uh, we'll hook up the vfd tonight john's coming over um and he'll uh this is the vfd 
that I've been talking about. So it's a, essentially a frequency drive. It'll actually convert. Um, and I'll put a link to this, by the way, in the um, description if you want to buy one. These will actually phase convert. So if you have a three phase motor, it'll actually take it from single phase, bump it up to three phase. We had a machine that was a 220 three phase machine that had one of these VFDs and we were able to run it off of regular 110. So that's pretty impressive. So we'll see. Um, I'm not sure what kind of complications we'll get into. And that's why I hire a motor specialty electrician to hook the, uh, what we're gonna do tonight is hook this box to the motor and then the motor out to the wall or actually i'm sorry the wall into this box this box into the motor and that's how that'll work so uh yeah it's coming together and uh hopefully the last video will be of this thing running uh that's another thing too you want to make sure when it's running that it's going in this direction okay so it's the bucket is is coming into the scoop like that uh versus this direction so um yeah anyway all right so this is the moment of truth we uh couldn't do the vfd so uh we hooked up this on off box actually i don't even say we john did this um but plug it in and hopefully this thing will uh get going here so all right try yep that's it that is a t-rolling machine Awesome. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So that's that. The CR45 T roller is now fully operational. Doesn't have the variable speed, but it really runs well and smooth. Um, I do want to give a very special thank you shout out to Dominique and her students at Greenville Tech. Uh, they are the welding students there and they were the ones that helped us out with the stainless. Thanks again also to John Blanton for setting up the controls and uh, troubleshooting that. Could not have done it without you guys and we're really grateful. So let me go ahead and I'll show you um, a little bit of this machine, uh, kind of walk you around it, some of the features, and uh, then we'll sign off. Okay, so essentially this is a double arm roller. It just means that it has two arms here for stability purposes uh, versus a single arm roller, which is right there, the single arm. And uh, so there's a latch here um, that basically holds this. So you pop this and that lets the door uh, swing out. Um, this spring here is uh, to put pressure down on the leaves, but as it's rolling over these ribs, it's gonna be going like this, the lid. So um, that's what the spring does. It takes some of the shock off of that. Uh, trap door down here. Um, I won't open it just yet because it's a real pain to do one-handed, but you can see this circle. That's a trap door that is opened by these levers. That's how you empty the T from the middle. Um, it's got a uh, swing arm lever and then a latch uh, for locking it. Um, of course, the control that we just did, which is going to be mounted right up here, and we'll get that going. And um, yeah, as far as what Dominique and her crew did, uh, they helped me out with this pallet um, to kind of uh, modify this a bit. But these um, have industrial casters below, and then these screw down legs super important because those legs are going to be keeping it stable as this machine wobbles around a lot so yeah that's it the cr45 super happy about it and again thanks for watching stay tuned to see what else is brewing here at table rock tea company